President. You know, it's uh, been two months since I first came to the floor to call for the confirmation of Tara McGrath, President Biden's nominee to serve as U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of California. Now, that day in July, my Republican colleague from Ohio chose, as he's done today, to put political gamesmanship over the safety of the American people and to hold her nomination hostage to leverage completely unrelated issues. Now, two months later, clearly nothing's changed. And as a result, since early August, the Southern District of California has gone without a confirmed U.S. attorney. And that's despite the fact that a highly qualified candidate was approved by the Senate Judiciary Committee after a confirmation hearing, after the proper vetting and review, and is awaiting a full vote on the Senate floor. Yet, because my Republican colleague has chosen to politicize our Justice Department and the confirmation process and hinder the work of multiple law enforcement offices as they await confirmation of their leadership, law enforcement is now forced to work harder than necessary to keep our communities safe. That includes the center's own home state of Ohio, where the Northern District is currently without a Senate-confirmed U.S. attorney for the longest stretch in that office's history. And now in my own state, the Southern District of California has become tangled in this political mess. Now make no mistake, these delays damage the effectiveness of U.S. attorney offices across the country. Like the confirmation of hundreds of our military leaders, these crucial law enforcement nominations are being treated like pawns in their political game. If you truly care about public safety in our communities, if you truly care about enforcing the law, and if you truly care about cracking down on fentanyl and saving American lives, a claim I hear constantly from my colleagues, then confirm Tara McGrath in the Southern District and allow for the swift confirmation of a host of U.S. attorneys that are still being held up. The people of California and the people of the United States deserve better than this. So I call on my colleagues to stop weaponizing the Senate procedures to confirm Ms. McGrath and all the qualified nominees before us and take seriously the job that Americans have sent us here to do. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor.